Peace. This is Brother Jamal, Masters of the Cosmos.com. <clears throat> Real quick, I wanted to talk to you about removing obstacles, especially when it comes to money. You're in need of some money. All of us are to some extent. What's one way that you can open up the flow, open up the door so that you can attract more money into your life? This might sound super simple, but entertain this. Stop being wasteful. Now you might say, oh, okay, thank you, Captain Obvious. You know, uh, did I click on this video to be told that? Yes, you did. I want you to understand the context within which I'm saying that. This is just not some Dave Ramsey, uh, how to get out of debt lingo. What I'm saying is that just as you want to be mindful that you're not wasting money when you're in need of more money or let's just say you just want some more money you also need to be mindful of the energy you waste in its totality see it's not just about money it's about your energy period are you wasting your time do are you easily distracted are you a procrastinator do you put things on hold that you could get taken care of now? Well, you know, just on a common sense level, that's, that'll keep you poor. That'll keep you poor, for sure. But even on a metaphysical level, it has ramifications in you remaining poor. When you waste your time, you're sending a message that you have an abundance and you don't need anything. So how are you going to tell the cosmos that I need to attract more fiat, okay, or however you want to get your resources? How are you going to tell the cosmos that and you're constantly giving away your resources? Time is a resource. Time is currency. Just like attention is currency. Time is where you are putting your attention for a certain allotment of space. So if you're wasting your time, don't think that you're gonna turn around money situation. Are you wasteful of food? Now, okay, Jamal, you're going too far now. You're trying to be too philosophical, right? No, I'm not. Again, the mind is all and all is mental. That's the number one axiom that governs everything. We can pretty much stop right there. The mind is all and all is mental. So that means then that if I'm wasting food and everything is energy, everything is thought, everything is energy, then being wasteful of food is sending a message that I'm not grateful, I'm not thankful, and I don't need nothing. Because I don't even appreciate what I got. How do you treat the person that you're in a relationship with? Mm. If you are not mindful of the other person's needs and, and, and thinking about your mate, and how would this make he or she feel? Then that's sending a message that you can't manage money. So you don't need no money. Your relationship is a resource. Men, your woman is a, is, is a natural resource for you. Women, your man is a natural resource for you. Not to abuse, but to coexist with. If you can't manage a relationship, how you gonna manage some more money? Simple things. Sometimes we're looking for something to be so extravagant that we miss the forest for the trees or, 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 you know, we don't see what's right in front of our face. 
Let me show you this. Y'all like this? This is Ganesh. This is a bad statue I recently got. Um, I want to tell you. Let me know in the in the uh, comment section if you like this. Is this like something that you might want to have as part of your collection? Let me tell you why Ganesh uh, resonates with me so much. Ganesh is the Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. Okay. Now. I can look at this as just a statue and put what I perceive to be power into the statue. The statue is supposed to be a trigger for me to access something inside of myself. Okay. So when I first learned about Ganesh and a lot of other deities, it was, I looked at the, at the deity as the deity is going to do this. So basically, I just moved Christianity over to another religious system where I externalized power. The statue is actually supposed to remind me of something that I possess. So Ganesh is not to remove obstacles outside of me as much as it is to remind me to be mindful of removing obstacles within myself. These things that we've talked about represent that Ganesh energy. When you self-police, examine yourself, you look at, where am I being wasteful? Cause you know, we can shuck and jive all we want about, you know, uh, uh, money's fake and the matrix, nah, 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 but let your ass not pay your rent. And you're gonna see the concrete is real. It might be, you know, a holographic whatever projection, but that shit gets cold in the winter and it'd be hot on your ass in the summer when you get bounced out there on it. So let's be practical. Let's be practical. Removing the obstacles, meaning removing myself as an obstacle. If I can get myself out the way, the rest of this shit is a piece of cake. The biggest competition I have, the biggest foe I have, the biggest challenge, and sometimes the biggest enemy I have is what you see staring in this camera right now. And what you see when you stare into your mirror. So, just a little food for thought. This is Brother Jamal, Masters of the Cosmos.com, and I'm reminding you to stay down until you get up. And when you get up, Stay down. Peace.